program impact estimation. In this chapter, we explore some basic tools to help you estimate the impact of your own program. Most of the hard work is done before, randomly assigning to treatment and control, respecting the assignment during the program implementation, and successfully recovering information from both groups. That's quite difficult. When the randomization into treatment and control group is successful, the estimation of the program impact itself is relatively simple. The main idea is that after the program, the average outcome in the treatment group should be different from the average outcome in the control group. This difference is a good estimate of the mean program impact. No econometrics. You could do this using a spreadsheet. When the randomization is perfect, this estimate is called the average treatment effect, or ATE. This is an estimate of the causal effect of the program on the outcome variable. In certain situations, this estimate becomes the intention to treat estimate, or ITT. When you add some adjustments to this estimate, this is called the TOT, estimated treatment on the treated. Let's start a new do file for this chapter. Just like before, clear all, change directory with my own path to the folder where my data is, then use. The data set used here is hh underscore follow dash up, follow up. This is fictitious data. I was constructed from a real survey, but its only objective is to show how to use evaluation tools not to draw real conclusions. I write bros to take a look. And you recognize here the variable names from the Bangladeshi household survey. Household ID number, the tahna or sub-district, age of the household head, gender, and year. This is post-program data. The microcredit already had place. This is why the year is now 1998. The variable T indicates which households were assigned to treatment, with T equals 1. Those with T equals 0 are households that were assigned to the control group. If I close this and instead use the describe command, I can see that the dataset contains 300 observations. This follow-up contains information exclusively on the experimental sample. If I tabulate the treatment assignment variable t, we see that there are 150 households in the treatment group and 150 in the control group. The assumption is that they have been assigned randomly. We want to use the difference in outcome of those two groups to estimate the average treatment effect of the microcredit program. 